I'm, I'm going to start with the uh, blank bubble application uh, before we before we start I'm going to set up a basic application layout here so I'm going to start with the group uh, let's draw a group uh, yeah and let's remove the re style and then background style flat color and let's make it red and then let's let's um, put a text here uh, and it should say uh, shopping list application and remove the style and make it 700 and make it uh, 18 back and colors would be white so that it's visible let's center it manually and then let's create another group just to make it more professional visible professionally looking application uh, and remove the style and round edge 10 and flat color and green yeah so and let's put a text here and let's say uh, things to buy and remove this child and then make it 600 and white and let's center it manually hmm. okay so this is our basic application set layout setup now we're going to add a list and we're going to add a list which shows the list of items on our list which needs to be bought so before we continue i would like to show you the data structure i have set up for this uh, demonstration purpose uh, let's go to data and let's go to data types i have set up a list of items which contains a field name name of items uh, you can create a new data types just by uh, entering the name here and create and then you can also create a, um, a new field just clicking here and click the uh, uh, name of field and click the type of field and in this case I have selected the text because our, our field type is, type is text and if you, if you go to application data I have already few items here computer here came cups uh, which is the name of item that needs to bought so let's head over to our application designer and let's start with the repeating group mm, let's draw a repeating group here mm, okay so as as uh, as our um, data structure we're going to select the list of items and data source should be do search for and type should be list of items uh, and if we set up our data uh, list of uh, items in repeating groups in this way it is going to show you whole list of data that is stored out in, uh, in our database so um, we're going to uncheck it because this is not the uh, finite number of rows because it could be one two three fifty hundred two hundred thousands so we're going to show whole list in a single page uh, let's set let's set it to 50 as minimum height of row uh, so it looks more professional uh, and then after we're gonna add a text here which will display uh, the name of item here so yeah and let's insert it uh, dynamic data and then current sales list of items uh, names of item yeah so if we preview this application this application should show us the list of uh, items that our database contains so let's preview it um, yeah so it's it shows us cups here games and computers and if we go to data and app data it, and uh, it, uh, it, it shows computer hair cream and cups so as here it is showing all the list of 
items that our database contains uh, so let's go here we are successfully showing the list of items on our database now we want a functionality which allow us to del delete the list of item here so for that i'm going to use icon here let's place an icon here yeah and then select an icon uh, i'm going to select an icon which is remove uh, yeah so we have an icon here and what we want to do is once clicked on this icon we want to remove the item uh, so let's preview this application it's definitely not gonna work because we haven't set up the workflow yet see i'm clicking here but it's not working so let's go and click on this item and then click a start the workflow and then uh, let's go to data thing and delete thing and the things to delete is current cells list of item okay so now it should work so now if we preview our application now it will delete the item so let's try with the computer yeah so it's deleting the things so now what now what what we want is we want to uh, we want a functionality which will allow us to rename the list of item so for that I'm going to copy this icon and paste it here and I'm going to change the icon here uh, and which says edit yeah this is the edit icon so what what how our workflow is going to work is once we click on this icon this will display a pop-up uh, which will have the uh, input field and button and once we enter our value in input field and once we click our uh, submit or rename button uh, it's going to update the name of uh, item so before uh, before we proceed further let's create and pop up first uh, yeah this is the pop up and let's rename this pop up as Mm, rename and let's have a input field here sorry let's let's have an input field here mm, and let's rename the input field input rename and let's have a button here okay this is the button which says rename so how this is gonna work is once we enter a value here and click this button this is going to rename it so first what we need to do is once we click on this icon we need to show that pop-up and we need to pass the value of the item that we have selected so for that i'm going to start and edit a workflow and then i'm going to element action set state and i'm going to set a state in index and i have already a set uh, i have already a state here but for demonstration purpose i'm going to remove it and now setting up a new state uh, which is uh, selected uh, item sorry item mm, and then this should be the list of items and create and the value should be current cells list of items and then once we uh, run this workflow we need another workflow which uh, shows the pop-up uh, pop-up rename yeah So uh, let, let me clear this out. So if we preview this application, this is simply not going to work because we haven't set up complete workflow here. So this is going to show you show us the pop up. But once we input something, it, it is not going to do anything. So for that, what we can what we are going to do is we are going to pop up, open a pop up and. Uh, just to make this application professional what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna in I'm gonna use the initial content as current sales list of items name. So insert this and index mm, selected items names of item so this is going to show us the initial content as the selected item so once we click on this um, workflow what we're gonna do is we gonna do a data thing and make changes to thing and uh, index selected items and name of item is equal to input rename Sparrow. and once we update the name we want to close the pop-up so let's go to element action and then hide the pop-up uh, pop-up yeah so now the application should work perfectly so let's go forward and check the application so if we click if we click on this icon this shows us the initial content as cups because we have selected on cups if we click on hair cream it shows us hair cream and if we remove it here uh, let's say gel it's it, it is going to be renamed yeah see here gel so yeah congratulations guys we have we are uh, we have successfully completed two functions here and now we want one more additional function where we can add the list of items so for that it's really easy so i'm going to this repeating group uh, i'm going to move this bit down and then i'm going to add a input field here mm, yeah like this mm, yeah uh, and i'm going to rename it input add i them and then i'm going to add a button here button yeah button which says add uh, add item sorry add item yeah so what we how this workflow gonna work is once we click on this item this is going to take the value from this input and then create a new item so let's go to this uh, button and start a workflow and then um, let's go to data thing and create a new thing uh, type of thing is list of item and name of item should be is equal to input uh, add item value and after we add the value we also want to reset the input so if we let's say if we input the mango and add the item we want to be we want mango to be removed from the input field so for that let's go to element action and then what we're gonna do is reset the data and element is mm, So let's preview this item so let's add a computer add a bottle add so yeah we have successfully created this simple application there are a lot of modification you can do like you can also set the a status and you can also have a uh, let's say icon where you can tick and it it moves it to the uh, list of things that you have already brought and a lot of things you can add if you have any questions regarding this application and regarding the customization of this application you can comment down below i'll be happy to reply you guys thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe to this channel to support my further videos thank you guys